questions? Coach? Ah, I thought it was a heck of a college basketball game. I really did. It was, uh, you know, as heartbroken as we are. It was, you know, a lot of fun out there. And, and I'm really proud of our guys. I mean, it's the team was picked ninth and the team that was, I don't know if they were picked first and out there in first place now, right? And uh, we had a chance. You know, we had a chance. You got, when you get a chance, you got to take advantage of it. You got to, you know, whatever might be. And it was a series. There was, there was a bunch of them down the stretch. But, uh, yeah, I'm really proud of this team. I am really proud of this team. Coach Delaware took uh, twice as many free throws as you were in the course of the game. What was happening out there? Uh, I guess we were fouling them more than they fouled us. You can do that all you want. Coach, you're up 15, and then uh, they kind of started pressing you. We kind of had, well, you handled that a little bit better as the game went on, but at first they kind of got back at you. Yeah, no, it was, it was clearly it was clearly one of the one of the reasons we we didn't we didn't win this game. We didn't handle the pressure in the first half. And, and, and you know when it, the foul trouble played into it too. We had some. Uh, we didn't have our. You know we had. Uh, I think Dan was on the bench. Jordan was on the bench. So a couple ball handlers on the bench, and they knew to press us, and they did, and we uh, we didn't handle it. So yep, we're making a good point there. Dion, how how do you just how do you describe your feelings? Because you know you, you played a great game, but but there's a disappointment of losing. What's the what's the dominant feeling in your in your heart right now? Uh, it's never about me. It's always about the team. And when we lose, it's it's hard. You know, I'm, we lost 20 times this year, and every time it gets harder and harder to lose. And the way I play doesn't mean anything if you don't win, you know. Maybe I should score more, maybe I should pass more, maybe I should something else, but it doesn't matter if you don't win. How about you, Zeke? What, how, how do you feel about tonight? Um, a little disappointed. Uh, you know, I felt like I could have made some bigger shots for my team down the stretch. Um, but, so, yeah, that's how I feel. Coach, is the problem with your defense or with your attack? Is the problem your team's defense or the attack? So are you, are you saying what's, what are we worse at, the defense or offense? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, whether your defense was weak or your attack was weak. I thought that when we made mistakes defensively, that they were more, almost more mental than anything else. I mean, there were a couple times we scored and didn't get back on defense and they scored. I, mean, I remember one time early in the second half, the best shooter in the gym, we, and we scored. And he just ran down to the corner, they threw it to him, he made a shot. It's just, there's no excuse for that. So we, we made some mental mistakes defensively and, and then off, offensively. I mean, I, you know, I mean, you score 77 points, you should win, right? At least I think you should. Joe, you had, these, you had uh, Delaware down 13 down there in the first half, 15 to that. Obviously, I think it's two of the three biggest deficits they've had. What do you take from that? You know, having, I think they're probably going to be in the one seed. What do you take from that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I Truly believe we can beat anybody in this league. We can beat anybody in this league. I just told the guys that in the, in the locker room. I tell them all the time, and we, and we can't. We proved it tonight. We can beat anybody in the league. There's just no doubt. We can beat anybody in the league. We've, you know, we've been right there with everybody. I mean, uh, we had a clunker, I guess, at Towson, and then uh, maybe at Charleston. He got away from us a little bit in, in the second half. But every other game, we're, we're, we're right there. We're right there. So, you know, uh, we ain't going anywhere. We ain't going anywhere. We're, 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 we can't wait. I'm mean, not just tell the team you can ask me. Like, I can't wait to play Wednesday. I can't wait to play play Wednesday. Or I'm sorry, this is Wednesday. Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Sorry, thank you. Uh, how will you describe the statement that someone said? Has someone said, Hosra always win in the first half, but they lose in the second half? Yeah, I, I really can't explain that. I mean, uh, you know, we, we have had the, we have played during the first half and the second half. I don't, you know, I don't, I, I can't explain that. I don't know if we're doing anything differently. I mean, it's, you know, uh, yeah. No, I'm sorry, but I really don't. I really don't know if I knew. You know, I just don't know the hey, Coach, just to, in your opening statement, you said that the, you're really, you said it twice. You're really proud of this team. What is it? Is it is it the, is it the heart? What is it that you're you're proud of? Yeah, these guys? I mean, you know. The, they, they, they never give up. Uh, you know, you always want more out of them. But the, you mentioned the word heart. They have great heart, and we're playing. You know, shorthand. This might come back to your question. I mean, you know, we we play eight guys, and, and really it's six guys getting all the minutes. And so when the second half rolls around, we get a little, we get a little, maybe we get a little, a little weary up there. So, but I mean, uh, you know, we're we're a little undermanned, and, and at the same time, we're like I said, we're in every game. So. I, you know, Coach, to help that a little bit, you know, Steven was giving you better production earlier in the year lately, maybe 
shooting not so much tonight. He doesn't make a shot. Uh, what can you do to get more out of him? Yeah, you know, he, um, he all we can do is keep giving him a chance. I mean, a really good player just wants a chance. Just give me a chance. Put me in, coach. Just put me in. And we, we're going to keep putting him in. And it's up to these guys when we tell me. We have a chance to do something, do it. Get a chance to make a shot, make a shot. Get a rebound, get a rebound. Guard your guy, guard your guy. So they'll keep getting a shot. Hey, Zeke, you said recently that uh, you're, just, you're just so close. This team is just so close to being where, you, where it wants to be. Uh, how close are you now, and, and what do you have to do to, to kind of get to bridge that gap? Well, I just eliminate the, the ball and stuff that we, we, you know, like Jose at that three um, was sort of our mistake. Just, so just, just I, we sort of got to stop defeating ourselves a little bit. Um, and I think we'll, I think we'll get over that hump of being close. Zeke and uh, Dion Joe's talking about his um, how much fun he's having. You know, can't wait to play. They're saying that early in the week, have three big games coming up. Can't wait to play any of them. Does that trickle down to you guys? You know, it's February and and, and you know it's under man, lots of pound left. Does it kind of trickle down? You know, that enthusiasm kind of push you guys forward a little bit. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, uh, and these are you know these are my last couple of games, so I'm definitely you know trying to make the most out of it. Um, but yeah, I feel I feel just how how coach. How are you, Dan? Um, game day is always exciting. That's why we're here. We're here to play basketball. We're here to play basketball games. And, and I live for these days when we get to play games. I'm always so excited to come out here and, and play basketball. So it doesn't matter what we're playing, it's, but I'm always excited to play basketball. Uh, Zeke, Dion, do you guys feel a sense of fatigue in a game like this down the stretch from the lack of depth, or doesn't really bother you? Or? No, we, we've been doing this all season now, so we're just kind of used to it. I guess, uh, my last coach at mom used to say fatigue is a mental state. So if you think about it, you get tired. So I try not to think about ever being tired. So that's the way I go about it. Thanks. Thank you.